Hello, it's Ian. Um, welcome to another Laughing Out Loud with Ian. Um, um, do we, um, this stand-up sketch, it's, um, called, um, um, uh, how, yeah, well, called, all to do with cars and, um, the owners, um, 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 how their personality, um, goes with the car they, um, buy. So, yeah, um, here we go, um, start off with a bit of a backstory, um, my Dad used to be a member of the car club, and he, um, was with them for probably, I don't know, um, good 10, 20 years, and, um, well, he was in the car club, he actually, act, um, come up with this award, it was, um, the Shitster of the Year Award, um, started off as a wooden spoon but um the um um members of the club said nah wooden spoon's not gonna do it justice um why not a um shovel instead because um does the name of the um title shit's um stir of the year so um they um Put a the a welded the shovel onto a um bit of steel um onto a steel plate what have you um and um put on a plaque with the title shitster of the year and it went to different members anyway um I could um guarantee there'd been a few times where my dad would have got the award shitster of the year course he was a bit of a shitster of course um it wasn't only just a shitster um at the car club he was a bit of a shitster at home as well um or at least he tried to be anyway um anyway um now with the funnies um a car the car that people um, buy usually they say there's a lot about a guy's personality by the car that um, the guy purchases. Um, usually, um, if um, a um, person buys a small car, um, he's seen as not very masculine, actually, um, probably seen it as a bit of a sissy, um, probably could think of other names for a guy, um, buying a smaller car, but not very appropriate, and probably very sensitive, and politically incorrect, um, course you never know once I uh, if I ever got my license and I bought a smaller car I'd be basically um, put under the same category anyway so yeah no um, but anyway moving on up um, then you've got the guy that buys the medium-sized muscle car and it's usually the sports car and well he's got a higher ego than the person that actually bought the smaller car and yeah um usually has a very big ego um and obviously into his sports <laughs> um but then you got one higher up you've got the guy with the nice, big, ute or four-wheel drive or SUV, it's like... 
Uber, Uber are the drivers. I've got my SQV here and I'm going places. <laughs> well, actually, no, that's not the case at all. I'm just having a bit of a shitstir myself. Uh, maybe I should be getting the shitstir of the year award. But yes, um, like I said, um, um, a man's per, um, the car, um, that, um, a man buys, um, these days says a lot about his personality and usually, depending on the car, is depending on how big of an ego he's trying to build for himself. But yes, um, doesn't the old saying go, the bigger the car, the bigger the ego? <laughs> You've been a lovely audience. Love you the bits. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.